Morning, Golf Principles here. We're just doing a quick test. It's just a quick, literally two minute skit. This is Cameron who works for me, really good player. Plays on Mina, Euro Dog and all that sort of stuff, all the fringy tours. Good player, good ball striker. I'm gonna talk about counterbalance shafts today. Now there's a bit of a move in the industry to talk about counterbalancing and there's shafts like Nemesis, there's a the counterbalance Ventus. There's all sorts of shafts that are coming out now. CB, uh, TZ6 is coming out from Acura. And then what they're trying to do by moving the weight higher up, they're giving you the chance to have more head weight to therefore give you more impact power, therefore to hit it further. It's all about ball speed, all about distance. Now, for someone like Cam, who's a nice solid player, you know, hits it far, but doesn't hit it maybe far enough, this could be a way to find a few extra yards. Right now, this is not for everybody, but it could be a way for you to find a bit more bang off the tee. So we're gonna do a test. His driver, which is a TP6 shaft, non-counterbalance shaft against a Ventus counterbalance and we're going to put some numbers up and see what it comes up with. It's just going to be a two minute skit like I say it's just going to be on the iPad app for those of you who know the Foresight Quad stuff and we'll see what happens. So Cam get warmed up let's see what you got. Okay so the pink is Cameron's current driver which is dialed in for him and he drives it really good with that driver to be fair. The top is the counterbalance shaft. Now to get that swing weight to match up, we've had to put more weight in the head and Cameron's instant response was it felt a little heavy. So if you look at the dispersion screen, you can see that he misses it more right with the counterbalance shaft because he can't square it, the head's too heavy for him really. So he leaves it open and a bit right. When he gets it, the interesting thing is his smash factor goes up. So when he gets it into that 281 product, 147 you see that it's starting to get a bit more speed in terms of the ball speed just a little bit but the problem is he can't control it so you go back to his original numbers he's more consistent with his one now I'm not saying this is for everybody but this is like I say this sort of modern cure rule that a counterbalance shaft will give you more distance it may well not it won't in this case potentially it might give you a bit more speed at the bottom of the club but it's not proving to be so here because Cameron's driver is, you know, pretty decent. 110, 144, 159 ball speed. This is a good driver, you know. So in essence, what he's got is great. Stick with it, don't change it. But if you want to have a little play with stuff, this is where testing is really important. This is part of the process of being a good player or a player is that you're continually testing and searching and checking what you've got is still optimized. And if you're not doing that, you're probably missing a trick. So just check it out. You might find a couple of mile an hour ball speed. If you can, great, grab it. It's good from there. Cheers.